Okay, today I'm joined by Sarah Kinsella, who, if I'm not mistaken, is a nationally published greyhound journalist in Ireland, uh, regularly works with on-course bookmakers both horse racing and greyhound racing, uh, is a tipster at Shelburne Park. Is that it, Sarah? Anything else we can add to that? <laughs> I know I have a million and one jobs. Um, yeah, I'm full-time uh, with Betdack 10 years now. Um, they're a betting exchange, just like Betfair. I am. A, I have a nice column every Saturday in the Star newspaper, and I work frequently on the racetracks with uh, Ray Mulvaney. Um, especially, I used to work for Justin Carty and John Carty for a few years. And this year, I went over to Royal Ascot to work for Star Sports for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, great experience. That sounds like quite a busy, busy schedule. Where did you find the time for all that? I actually don't know. I have zero social life anymore. Um, my best friend Jessica lives in Bristol, and I actually see her more than some of my own family members. Um, I take a lot of holidays and work, like uh, to go over to England. I go to Cheltenham and stuff like that. Um, but I usually end up working a lot of my days off. But um, it's it's pure passion. I want to do it. I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Can you explain a little bit about what you do in each of the jobs that may not be so familiar to people watching this? Oh, um, well in Betdak I work on the sports desk, um, so Betdak is like a bookmaker's except um, it's customers betting against each other. So basically what I do for them is I put up all the markets on the website, so tennis, cricket, golf, so every time you go onto the website to place a bet, everything you see, that's what I have put up on the website and make sure there's enough money in there and liquidity and prices and stuff like that. Um, for the newspaper, it's just a column I write every week. It's um, my passion on greyhound racing and I give my selections and tips on the night ahead. So I cover all the big meetings, derby, oak, champion stakes, everything. And then on the racetrack, I work out the front with the bookmakers. I can do a bit of clerking as well, but I'm, I'm more so out the front, taking the bets, dealing with the customers. And uh, I love doing that. I love working on the race course. It's probably my favourite job, um, as well as journalism. So which magazine, which newspaper do you write for? I, I write for the Irish Star. Um, they're probably the best newspaper there for the horse racing product as well. They've got like the likes of Jack Kennedy and Couch and Davy Russell, Andrew McNamara, great people writing for their newspaper. Um, great coverage on horse racing. And um, I've I have a newly addition to the newspaper with my Greyhound column. I started last September with them. Um, so I've got a contract with them for the next year. Thank thankfully. It's fairly unusual for uh, young ladies to get involved in bookmaking, especially on course, unless there's a family connection. Was there one in your case? No, it probably started because my mum and dad are greyhound trainers, so I was always on the racetrack, uh, were, you know, parading dogs, and I worked for a greyhound trainer when I was 15, Martin Lanny. So I was always on the racetracks, and I suppose because you have your own dogs, you have a flutter, you have a few bets if you fancy your own dogs, and it kind of led to that. And, getting to know people. I know Ray and Seamus Mulvaney years. Um, another people I work for is Tom and Yvonne Barry. I know them for years as well, all Greyhound people. And one thing just led to another. Starting in Betdak as well would have led me to the racetrack, but it's it's definitely not in the family, the gambling end of it. But it was probably just because we were Greyhound trainers. That's how it led to all the jobs that I have. Which leads me nicely into my next question. Can you explain the attraction of Greyhound racing and tell us what you love about it so much? Oh God. I'm obsessed with greyhound racing. It's there's no better feeling, especially if you breed your own dogs. Um, I brought a bitch of mine to a stud dog last week, so in nine weeks' time, hopefully, she'll have her little puppies. And there's no better feeling than when when they're born. You hold them in your hand and you watch them grow up to two years of age, making the track. And when they win their first race, it's just it's a huge feeling. You might only be getting three hundred quid for a race on a regular night. The money doesn't even matter. It's just. The pure joy it brings you they're magnificent animals um very therapeutic being out with them on the farm especially like you know on your days off you just want to go over the fields walk the dogs they're docile they're friendly and they just i'm just obsessed with them uh, so have you been an owner for, for many how many have you owned my first one i owned was quarry field sarah was her name i bought her off martin lanny uh for 500 euro i think i was i worked for about three months for him and all my savings went i was obsessed with this little bitch I mean, I think she broke her leg in her second race for me. I didn't have any luck with her and I was devastated. So I didn't own another one for a good few years. Um, I haven't owned that many really. What I do is I'd probably go in with my dad on a few and we'd buy one together and it'd be my, maybe in his name or whatever. But it's more so just the entertainment. I wouldn't be making money out of it, let me tell you. You mentioned before that you've um, you just done a little bit of work for Star Sports. Well, a whole week's work at Royal Ascot. Um, so what, was, what would you say is the difference between 
working bookmakers working on course in Ireland and in England? Oh, um, I kind of thought working over here. I didn't know what to expect. Like I had worked in Cheltenham previously last year. Uh, I did a bit for Labrooks and a bit for uh, Andrew Smith Festival Racing, and also with Ray and Seamus Mulvaney. So coming over to Star Sports, I was obviously a bit nervous because they're a big company, um, great uh, to, to be asked to work for them. But it's pretty similar like on the racetrack in here and at home. If anything, I was lucky enough to experience Royal Ascot, so there's no festival like that at home. I've gone to Galway, I've gone to Punchestown, all of them, and Ascot is just different class, like it really is. Um, it's classier, it's busier, the stakes are bigger. Um, it's just a, a different class, like you wouldn't get that at home. But there's more crack at home in the festivals like Galway. After racing, there's massive parties and you're up till five o'clock in the morning, like partying at home for the Galway festival where I don't really get that kind of a feel over here to it. I think it's more kind of restricted. There's more crack at home and there's better standard of racing for national home, but I'll probably get in a lot of trouble for saying that. <laughs> Would, would there be a big difference in the way it works for Greyhound Racing take the bookmakers there in Ireland and Greyhound Racing up and horse racing in Ireland? That's, can you say that again? Is there a difference? What's the massive difference between uh, working for a bookmaker at a dog track and at a horse racing track at home in Ireland? Oh, on the dog track, um, I actually prefer, I think, working at the dog track, especially because there's only 15 minutes between each dog race, but it could be half an hour or 40 minutes between a horse race. So at the dogs, it only gets going a few minutes before the race is off. So you're kind of waiting around for the excitement to happen and it's very quick and you're flying around, you're trying to run around and lay off a bet and you're doing price changes and it's, it's buzzy. Whereas at the horses, you've got a bit more stretched out uh, feel to it and it's not as rushed. You know, it's, it's a different kind of thing. I, I prefer working at the dogs than I do on the, at the horses. Now we started off talking about all the various, you, lots and lots of different jobs in the game, which pretty much encompasses most of it. Which is your favourite of them? Ooh. You it's can a be tough honest. question. Um, I love the journalism because I get to express my opinion and be myself and let everyone know how great Graham Mason is and you know, I'm allowed to have a mind of my own, which is great, because, especially for, for women out there as well. There's not many greyhound women journalists, really, to be honest with you. Um, but my favourite would probably be working on the racetracks. Um, I mean, Ray and Seamus Savani have been brilliant to me. Uh, Justin Carty, John Carty, down through the years, they've all been marvellous, like Tom and Yvonne Barry, it's all of them. Um, they're brilliant people to work for, and I, you know, I just love the excitement. It's probably because I'm full-time in Betdeck, so when you're sitting on your bum for nine hours a day in an office. You just want to be out and about in the fresh air and working on the racetrack. So I really look forward to the festivals, Galway and Punchestown, um, to work on the racetrack. Now, the gentleman never mentions a lady's age, but I can say you're in your 20s still. Um, Late what, 20s. <laughs> do you think you'll probably concentrate and go for just one aspect in the future? To be honest, I don't know. Like... Um, my dad keeps trying to set me up at a farmer, actually he keeps saying I'm pushing on now, reaching 30, I should be settling down, but I have no intentions of settling down. I'm single, free as a bird. Um, I probably can see myself settling more, uh, staying with Betdak, like, you know, it's a good, secure job. There's a future, I think, in the exchange. You know, a lot of people have negative things about the racetrack, that it's a dying out. and So I would think it wouldn't be a great idea to probably go full-time on the racetrack. Um, I think the office job is probably the, the safer bet. Did you get the feeling that the race course was dying out in Ascot in the, when you worked there? Definitely not, oh my God. Um, the bets were just unreal. The, you know, Star Sports have no um, fear laying any big bets. I mean, I was standing there my first day and someone came up and had 25,000 each way in a horse and no problem, like, you know, the bet was on. And it was great to see that there are bookmakers that actually can stand big bets like that. And, you know, if you wanted a big bet on Star Sports or your people. But they do the advertorial thing. What, what advice would you give a young lady that wants to get into the sport? Would you advise her to get into it if she hasn't necessarily got any background? Is it difficult, more difficult for women than it is for men, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've had to grow on a very thick skin over the years. Um, you have to like working with men, really, because it's a, a male environment on the racetrack, especially. You have to love gambling. You have to be 
willing to do unsociable hours, uh, a lot of driving. But if you have a passion for horse racing or greyhound racing, just do it. Just throw yourself in at the deep end, ask around for jobs. And just, you know, you, you'll, you're, you'll do a lot of different things until you find what you're, you really enjoy doing. But I wouldn't put anyone off doing it. It's the best thing ever. And I meet people all the time. I get to travel around a lot of places. And um, I've kind of grown my profile as well. I mean, everything that I do on the racetrack has led to me getting my journalist uh, contract with the Star newspaper. And I've done work with so many different firms over the years. Um, and it's just grown and grown. So just put yourself out there, be yourself, have a thick skin, and you have to enjoy working with men and take, take it on the, on the chin. Sarah Kinsella, thank you very much. Thank you, Simon.